I had a neighbor call me. Who the heck? What? It. What is going on? I guess he wants me to move out of the way. This neighbor wants me to custom harvest his. What? All right. That was a little weird. I don't know where he's going at, but did anybody else think that was odd? He definitely was a little weird. Anyways, I need to custom harvest this field. And I'm trying to figure out the best place to put my trucks and everything. All right, let me pull up my phone here. We'll show you. So this entire field right here, which is a huge, this is my field, by the way. That's where we were harvesting beans. This big field is where we got a custom contract to harvest. It is, it's a big task to take on, for me at least. What is that guy He's just sitting there looking at me? Does anybody else think this is creepy? Alright, I'm gonna act like I'm not staring at him. Try not to, at least. Okay. Hold. Oh. On. Sir, you hit my vehicle. Hello? Hey! What you doing here? I'm just looking at this field. I just got, took on a contract to harvest it. Took that. You stole that contract, buddy. Hey. Talk to Dave. He just gave me the contract. Sorry, buddy. Uh. Wow. Okay. Good thing I had them bumper guards on there. Yeah, that, that was a... An awful weird conversation. Oh man, where's he going now? Oh no. Okay. This is. I'm not gonna stop. This is how a horror movie starts. That's a little odd. Yeah. All right. See you later, buddy. Uh, man. Neighbors nowadays. So this is what I plan on doing. Uh, I'm gonna harvest a stretch of my field. I'm gonna have to make sure I separate that grain. I don't know if I can get around back here or not. Probably should have brought my UTV. Yeah, there's some brush up here and everything. The plan is so I don't... Uh, yeah, that's my neighbor's field. Like, yeah, this is tight right here is to harvest this all the way down just a few rounds so I can park my trucks here. My semi and my dump truck. It'll be taking that grain to the elevator. But that way I can unload and I don't have to go the long way around. Because the field is right on the other side of my field. If that makes sense. I guess it. you'll see what I'm talking about once I harvest it. Now we got to get our harvests ready. I wasn't really plan on corn harvesting just yet, but uh, to take this contract, I have to, he wants it out of the field right away, so don't have an option there. There's all of our stuff. I'll get over here to start servicing up all of our harvesters. Got to get the, the bean heads off. Yep, got to get them off. Got to service everything. Hmm, what else? We'll have to get the corn heads. And I got to go get my dump truck because uh, just our new uh, bed over there, that's not enough. We're going to have to get more than that for corn. Corn is high yielding stuff. All right, got the old Flat Face International moving here. Yeah, clear everything. Got to get this to the field. Don't. This, I think it's the first time I ever drove this thing, other than finding it. But uh, we need some more uh, storage, or we need trucks to be able to keep up with all 
the harvesters, even though we got two... I call them small harvesters. We got a 2388 and we got a L3. They, they're not... They're not like today's harvesters, let's just say that. They're, they, they've got some years on them, but hopefully, I'm hoping this and that sim I can keep up, but it'll probably be a stretch. My wife and my cousin should be here shortly. Uh, what should I do? I don't want to get into the way. Is anybody behind me? No. Alright, I'm going to leave this over here till we cut out a nice little path for little place for these trucks to park over there in that field I guess thinking I'm gonna fill this up first and then that way I can go dump this into my bins all right I'll back up as far as I can yeah that looks about good we'll leave it there for now which one which one hmm I really haven't gotten into the gleaner too often I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna break the cherry on the corn with the gleaner. We'll cut out a path here, even though it's only a six row. We got the old galvanized head here. Old school head. I always like to lean out when I start up the harvester. Make sure nothing sounds too out of place. Definitely hear like a uh, belt slipping or maybe a bearing going out. It's what you try to prevent. Hopefully, you can save a higher dollar repair that way. Yeah, I'm gonna cut around here. I'll cut down this path here. Hopefully, I can make it all the way back up here. I have no idea. Depends on what this is going to be yielding at. Yeah, this this stuff right here is only yielding 160, which is not great. But we are right by the trees here. You can see, so they they stole the sunshine. Corn is like Superman, if you can think of it. Sunshine is uh, it's it really thrives once. You and when you get into sunshine as long as it doesn't dry the ground up too much Ooh, that's what I was planning on yeah Ooh, uh, that might uh, let's see let me get out of caviar uh, uh, okay Looks like there might be some rock. I don't think I'll make it through here with the full harvester, but I'm hoping the grain cart. Oh man, this might be a bad idea. I wasn't really planning on it having water here. Yeah, good thing I have my waterproof boots. It's not deep, but it's, it's definitely mucky. I don't know. We we'll have to keep the. The grain cart. Oh man, it's gonna be awful hard for that grain cart to keep up if it can't uh, keep overloaded. Cross our fingers and no one gets uh, stuck. Like Larson Farms calls. Pull a Dugo. Alright, I was going to cut more of a strip here, but uh, this corn is running a little bit uh, wet. Don't really want to harvest all my corn wet, so I'm going to unload here quick. Want to definitely unload before I try to pass this. I don't have a four or a rear wheel drive, if you know what I mean. Uh, assist. All right, come on, baby, get out of there. That's a little mucky yucky. All right, I, I want her to start in here. Make sure I don't hear anything. All right. Try. Uh, why did? You, uh, maybe I should have done the outside row. Got to get this. Uh, should have probably did the headland. She's leaving a lot for the deer. That's for sure. Yeah, 
I don't know how far we're going to be able to get around this field. This is definitely a long field around. If you can tell, the sun is starting to go down here. We are starting to get low, if you can see. A little bit uh, dreary, so it's dawn. I don't know how long we're going to be harvesting. This corn is right on the edge, so we get any dew or anything like that, we're going to have to stop. This field is going to take a long time to get around. It is quite the windy roll, so it follows the tree claim all the way around. Uh, looks like uh, Mandy's full up there, too. Hmm. Let me see if I can get my cousin on the radio here. Yo, cuz, where the heck are you at? I'm running a little bit late. Starbucks was head of line. Just get your butt over here. Alright, I'm just gonna unload my crazy cousin here. Don't really trust her to unload on the go, huh? Maybe we'll try it a little bit here. Start going here. What the? What the heck did you fill up your bucket for? Uh, can't find good help anywhere. I really have a goal of trying to catch up to my wife. But, and I'm pushing this old uh, galvanized uh, bucket to the limit. Don't think I can get up there. What the heck is this guy's problem? Okay. Where is he going? What the heck are you doing? You're running over the corn. What the? Where is he? Oh my goodness. Alright, dude. Uh, what you doing over there? I'm off the road here. He is driving backwards just watching me. Oh man. This guy has a serious problem with us. I mean, Alright, dude. What what do you want? Hey, he just keeps on going backwards down the road. Ooh. Man, I, I'm watching him and I'm leaving. Oh, wow. I do not know the problem of this dude, but... Whew. That's somebody you uh, you just want to ignore, I guess. Can't correct it, just ignore it. Guess who caught up? Yeah. Catching up to the old Big Red. She still got her in her know she's galvanized she can keep up with that paint wow this is sure a pretty part of the field right here that sun is getting lower that's for sure I think I'm gonna now that we're doing up and down rows I'm going to hand this off to my cousin gotta get the onesie twosies that my wife left and I'm gonna hand this off to my cousin uh, I think they're just gonna go up and down, nice and easy. I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I'm gonna have to take a load of corn to the elevator because, uh, the guy with the CDL, or my, uh, semi-truck driver, he has to catch a ball game to one of his sons, so. Alright, take this nice and slow. Oh. This is deep. Uh, I, I wish I wasn't so overloaded. That grain cart thing is. Uh, 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 come on, come on, girl. Come on. Oh, she's spinning. Oh, she got her. Okay, this is going to be a little bit unorthodox, but I have to unload my bucket because what for whatever reason. Yeah, got to unload that first. 
can't make this stuff up. I mean, you just can't make it up. Alright, yep. yep. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a little bit unorthodox, so I'm going to have to load this truck up. Then I got to take this semi to the elevator. And I, I gotta leave the reins to all my, uh, all the girls and my hired hand. Wish I could stay in the field here, but I kind of want to take my new grain trailer just to see how it pulls fully loaded. I think I might do a little illegal fill right here. I mean, why not? Fill her up. Alright, shut that thing down. Uh, the hired hand will come and get it. I gotta reel this thing up. Alright, start the old Mac up. There we go. You ready? Yep. Start heading over there. Oh, this is a hard turn to make here. I'm gonna clear that right there. Wow. Look how close that is. Yep, that is close. I'm in the middle of the road here. Oh, yeah. That's not the easiest uh, turn to make. Well, let's just say I waited in line a little bit at the elevator. Yeah, I'm running. That was about the slowest uh, offload ever. I'm gonna get this pulled over here, shut down. I think the girls already left. Everyone already left me. I'm the last straggler out here. Uh, kind of glad it came back here. Looks like uh, somebody left the old harvester lights on. All right, shut that off. I really don't like leaving the harvesters in a field like this, but. It's kind of secluded back here. It's kind of not the easiest place to get at. So I think we'll be all right. Man, can't wait to get to my bed. Get out here. What the? Oh my goodness. Hey, get out of here. Oh, why is, why would that guy be out here that late? Oh, slept in a little bit this morning. Uh, last night was... Wait a second. I, uh, I don't think I left that truck there. What the? What the? Oh. 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 You better not scratch my beauty here. What is going on? Parked it in a brush, too? Oh, man. This is why I hate leaving vehicles out in the field. You just can't trust anybody anymore. Uh, I'm not doing a very good job of backing this up here. There we go. Alright. Oh, man. I hope that's the only... Hopefully, that's just a whole bunch of teenagers trying to be funny, and that's the only thing they did. Oh, man. What a... Oh, no. Them bastards. Whoa. What the heck? did they do? Oh my goodness. That harvester's buried in there. Uh, that might have that might have destroyed the whole harvester. They emptied out gr grain into the water. Oh, look out. That's all the way up to the motor. Them? Oh, at least they didn't mess with my gleaner. Wait a second. Do you see that? Who's... Oh, man. 
I am going to destroy you. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Oh yeah, you wanna fight? Uh, oh wait. Uh, probably not a good idea. This guy might be a little bit crazy. I better jump up on here. Oh yeah. What the heck? Make sure. Like the video. I may not be here tomorrow. I mean, look at this guy. Okay. Don't hit the gleaner, okay? This is galvanized steel. If you don't know, you can save a ton. Apex Gaming. See you guys.